Welcome, 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 Scooby for Scorpio, 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 whoop, whoop, Scorpio, all right, oh, I just did cancer, it was definitely like a, whew, and I tried to channel some song and got a message that way, and oh my goodness, so, whew, Scorps, I just kind of hope you're not in that situation because, whoo Baby, ooh, don't you want to take me on a scene cruise? Maybe you need a vacation. Maybe you need a vacation. Let me just, like, literally shuffle all these decks. Um, let me just do that for you. Oh, Jesus. Same song. <laughs> Same song just came out. So let's just hope. And you have a different scenario. Are you ready for love? Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that vibe. Whew. All right. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right. Week two for Scorpio. Week two for Scorpio. I feel like water would be a really good thing for you. Um, try to find some stones, some rocks. Take something home. Okay. Empathy. Yep, that's you guys all day. All right, you got to persevere at the bottom of the deck, push through. Um, this is also being open to see both sides of a situation, so I don't know if somebody's going to want to work it out or try to work it out. I'm going to try to work it out. I know that's not how the song goes. All right, so current energy for Scorpio, but you're extremely empathic, okay? So this is also could be you, like, oh, I clearly see both sides of the situation, you know, so it's <laughs> it can go either way. I love my scorps, your sensitivity, but yet your depth. Go ahead and fuck with the scorp. Oh, Mingya. I'm not gonna lie. That was the first fucking card out of cancer. Okay. All right. How he or she is feeling. So, this is basically somebody's gonna want you to try to understand. Try to understand. Try, try, try to understand. He's a magic man. I doubt it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given my opinion. If I'm seeing a situation like this right off the bat, I, I'm okay to say that. So this is somebody who's extremely optimistic and wants to tell you their side of the story. But, like, really? This is, like, such a shitty card. Okay? So... This is only came out once in my four years of doing this as a positive thing. And this is this is not a positive thing right now. Okay. So what you don't see coming or what you're not aware of. So many. What you don't see coming or what you're not aware of. But I will tell you this energy is a little different than cancer for sure. This is somebody that wants to work it out. But spirit saying, you know, be open to two sides of a situation does not mean you have to tolerate or take something back or, you know what I'm saying? Possible outcome, you know, chemistry, past, current past, two years ago, two weeks ago, two days ago, two hours ago. Reconciliation at the bottom of the deck. So retreat. So there was some distance between you and somebody else. See, this isn't bad. This is not good, though. Okay. Um... So your energy is a little better. Just a little bit. No, wiggle it. Just a little. See, I think you're still vibing. All right. Tell me about this wedding card for Scorpio. The lovers, five of swords, queen of wands. Okay, so yeah, obviously more than one person, or you're dealing with somebody who was previously married, but something's over. 
but it looks like someone lost. There was definitely someone tried to win in a situation. Um, tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's a, a family situation that's done. It's over. I don't know if somebody tried to, again, be the winner in a situation, but still trying to figure out the options, you know, juggling. It, it's, it's, ugh. Tell me about retreat. I just want to go to the past. So this is somebody who retreated. It's kind of like hermit mode. Yeah, they put something on hold, but now they want to fight for something. Or they try to they try to fight for something. But they see there's too many people in the equation. But this is saying now somebody sees something. What do they want to fight for? Well, this is somebody who's definitely stressed out and trying to get strategic about something. So this is somebody who does want a new start with you or you them. Let's go over here. Tell me about Express Your Love. Somebody feels like your destiny, but something went down. Not great. Yes. Whew. See, this is somebody who now wants to come in and try to work on something. They see something. They want to give you clarity. You are their happiness. So they're, you're happy. Yada, yada. Vice versa. Right? But there's there's still boundaries. There's a huge wall here. Blocking. And it's like someone's blocking their own happiness. Yeah, see, it's like someone refuses to open up here, even though they see it, even though they want it. Tell me about the Seven of Wands real quick. Yeah, somebody's going to want a second chance and a new start. It's that masculine coming in as Aquarius energy. Okay, so I don't think you're hearing any of this, though. I have nothing telling me that this communication, I have, I have nothing that's saying this is what I want. Tell me stay optimistic. So this is somebody who's, like, trying to stay optimistic, the emperor. King of Swords. Yeah, see, this is somebody who is up and down, up and down, more focused on their money. You know, because they're straight up focused on their money right now, unfortunately. Their own security. Could be dealing with a business person that just is not taking any action. They're too focused on money. I don't know how on earth they're staying optimistic. This is somebody who came in the, in the same position with the second card in Cancer, too. Somebody extremely detached. They were holding on to the Five of Cups. So this is not someone staying optimistic. Because this is, this is money. This is somebody focused on money, family things. To me, tell me about the Ten of Pence. That's, to me, it's money. Their own business, their own, you know. That's saying love, but not doing nothing, but yet still manifesting. So they're going to get some type of wake-up call from the universe because this energy is doing nothing but working. So you literally have somebody that just came out as all kings. Right? Air, water, fire. We don't have earth yet. But then emperor. Someone's going to come back around to you. I don't know if you want anything to do with that. Yeah, see, it's manifesting right there. So somebody definitely messed up. <laughs> There's your king of pence now wanting something solid with the high priestess. You should go watch Cancer because you came in as the high priestess. But it's still like juggling. It's, this is still weighs this person down. This person's still clinging to the past. Tell me about chemistry. Now, this is your possible outcome. Yeah. Um, this person wants, wants something with you. They want something more solid. 
that could be an apology. This is this is somebody who definitely wants this but is not saying anything. You know, they're they're still giving. This would be like, can we go out for dinner? Da, 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 da. And it, it's like, but here's the thing: is it's just chemistry right now, like, you know. But it's yeah. See, it's like they're still giving. They could possibly be walking away. Like it, it's just, mm. you guys are in a tough scenario. And this could be, if nobody else was involved, this could be you wanting to take it up a notch, getting engaged, getting married, having kids, having a family, wanting more, knowing this is your person, and they backed away and they retreated. And now they're going to come back and give you what you want. So some of you be real happy about that. Others of you, there's somebody else here. So this energy is obviously masculine. Got the feminine over here. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I'm afraid to contact you. This person's in, in, intimidated by you. Just being around you is intoxicating. So I don't know if somebody, like, in their head, they're just thinking, is it just lust? Is it love? Is it attraction? Is it more? If you go watch Cancer, it was, it was definitely more. Okay, but this person is extremely, in yeah, see, they feel stuck. They want to move forward and offer you something, but, like, they can't stop thinking about you. This is a sweet read. It is a sweet connection. Um... And it's a lot calmer than cancer. But this is somebody who kind of like put a situation on hold, probably no explanation, stressed you out. You know, but now they're strategically trying to like, how do I get to my path? How do I follow it? This is somebody who was in some type of situation, clearly. And again, if it's not third party, this is you wanted more and they didn't give it. All right, that's why spirit's kind of like in a situation of... You need to be open of seeing two sides of a situation. It looks like this person is going to follow the gut and make a decision, but right now, you know, still juggling, still trying to decide, not grounded, very ungrounded, this energy. Yeah, so this, they were upside down. So the tower. So they're going to get like some type of wake-up call and still want to come in with this. So that's definitely what's going down. Someone now wants to give you an apology, give you something you wanted that they, they didn't give you before or couldn't give you before. But see, there, there was an explanation. There wasn't nothing. Like the way somebody went about something and, and not telling you what was actually happening, I, I think is the shittiest part out of all of it. But you know what? I just, I hope they learned a lesson. But I'm telling you, I really do feel like you're linked to cancer in the extended. Um, <clears throat> they're not quite picking up on that lesson yet. Okay. So take care of you. This is the energy of you have water signs that some are a, a deep, deep and like, I don't know what to do and, and feel like they're struggling and, and yada, yada. But, you know, you choose to struggle and some people don't agree with me there. But you know what? The, the eight of, what was it? The eight of wands, eight of swords. That's, that's, that's struggle. That's you choosing to stay in that. Can't get your mind off of something like that's That's you choosing over right here, choosing to stay stuck. Not wanting to see that you have something right in front of you. Blinded by the light. So, you know, it's almost like right now I feel like some of you are spiritual bait. But it's it's mutual love, but it's confusing somebody else. <clears throat> see, somebody needs to talk and they're not talking to you. So, it doesn't look negative. It's just... This energy is still very ungrounded. Okay, so do your thing, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing until this energy wants to come around and have a conversation apparently. All right, I love y'all.